Hello, I'm Dave Carger. Welcome back to TCM. Our Saturday afternoon continues now with an edgy psychological Western directed by Anthony Mann and starring Jimmy Stewart from 1954. It's The Far Country. This is a movie that came two decades into Jimmy Stewart's Hollywood career. In the 1930s, he became a star playing likable, optimistic good guys in Frank Capra movies like You Can't Take It With You and Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. But when the United States entered World War II, Stewart took five years away from the big screen to serve in the Air Force. When he returned to Hollywood, he was older, more mature, and ready to reinvent his image. He made his return to movies in another film directed by Frank Capra, It's a Wonderful Life, which tapped into his established screen persona, but also began to introduce something darker. Then in 1950, Stewart collaborated with director Anthony Mann for the first time on Winchester 73, a dark, complex Western that allowed Stewart to reveal an unexpected intensity. The film helped usher in a new trend in movie westerns, and it also began one of the most fruitful partnerships in Jimmy Stewart's career. He went on to make eight pictures with Anthony Mann, five of them tense, dramatic westerns, including The Man from Laramie, The Naked Spur, and the film you're about to see. Here, Stewart plays a loner who sets out to sell his herd of cattle in the gold boom towns of the Klondike region. But when he arrives in Alaska, he finds trouble almost immediately when he's targeted by a crooked lawman played by John McIntyre. From 1954, also with Walter Brennan and Ruth Roman, The Far Country. The stunning landscapes in this movie were filmed at Saskatchewan Glacier and Jasper National Park in Alberta. The cinematographer was William H. Daniels, who had an extraordinary career in Hollywood that began in the early 1920s and continued steadily until he made his last film in 1970. He became famous as Greta Garbo's favorite cameraman in the 1920s and 30s. And during the silent era, he also worked with many of the top directors in the industry, including Eric von Stroheim, on his 1924 epic, Greed. Daniels continued to reign as one of the best cinematographers in Hollywood for the next five decades, and he was behind the camera on five of the eight films that Jimmy Stewart made with director Anthony Mann, including The Far Country, Winchester 73, and The Glenn Miller Story. In the last decade of his career in the 1960s, Daniels' credits also included movies like the original Ocean's Eleven and Valley of the Dolls. Over the course of his career, he earned a total of four Oscar nominations, and he won the award once for his work on 1948's The Naked City. Up next, Paul Newman and Robert Redford star in a crime caper from 1973 that won the Oscar for Best Picture. Next on TCM, The Sting, then Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, and later, Gross Point Blank. Ryan Reynolds puts a hit on TCM Tonight. <laughs> 